His mission is to become the next Wizard King. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kaijo and today we're going to be jumping into PvP. Now, the last video you guys probably saw was my summon and then I did my nuke video against uh, Guild Boss. Uh, make sure you go check out those videos if you haven't already. But yeah, definitely we're going to be jumping into PvP. 100% um, this is not the Asta build that I was looking for. I got him up to 79k. Um, I'm not going to do my build video as of yet um, because he's not where I want him to be. My enchantment stones are lacking, so I'm not able to reroll my substats, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, but what I could do is I can give you guys the pleasure of checking my current stats. So he's at 79k, fully duped, um, maxed out skill page, and this is what his current stats are, okay? Uh, 24k defense. His HP is kind of lackluster, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, his crit rate, crit damage, and crit resistance aren't where it's supposed to be because I don't have enchantment stones, as I said again. 100 is his speed. We don't really care about his his speed though. But yeah, um, here's his gears, man. This is his gears, okay? This is what I'm currently rocking, all right? Um, so yeah. Um, all right, screw it. I'm just gonna turn this into the into the build video. I was gonna do PvP, but I'm just gonna do my build video. I'll show you guys how I got him to 79k with very bad substats, which are not rolled. All right, look at that. This this is only rolled. This is the only piece that's that's rolled. All right, so I have crit resistance on him, crit rate and attack, and a little bit of defense because why not? Okay. Um. Then I also have this little piece right here, not built at all but i got really good rerolls which was good i just need to enchant the stones uh enchant with the stones and then i can basically get the percentages up higher um for attack i got this which is the defense piece crit res um rate damage and then damage resistance which i could i wish i could remove that damage resistance and get like hp or defense uh percentage but i can't so it's whatever here is my other one i have crit damage crit resistance and crit rates and then this one is the next one, which crit resistance, defense, accuracy, and crit rate. All right. This is more, you know, this is not bad. You know, it's good. Um, I wish I could re-roll that accuracy, though, and get a better defense roll. But I'm going to keep this. Um, as well as this right here, um, HP, crit damage, damage resistance, and defense. If I could take out the damage resistance and the HP and get defense and crit rate, that would be perfect. But, you know, it's fine. And then this is my last piece, which is defense, uh, percentage, crit rate, and crit resistance. So, you know, this is what I'm currently rocking. All right. Um, I think this is a really decent build for Black Asta. It's not the best build. I did get lucky with the defense and the attack roll here, but the magic attack really cucked me as well as the damage resistance. And the thing is, I can't re-roll these substats because we don't have the gears for the stuff for it, the materials. For defense, I did get unfortunate again with the magic attack and regular defense and regular HP, but I got a 0.4 crit resistance percentage. Woohoo! We like that. And a crit resistance attack and damage resistance. Not bad at all for his build, okay? Currently... I would love to get his rolls up higher. Uh, I just don't have any resources to enchant, especially for these rolls. I have magic attack. I have stuff of that sort, but nah, I don't have anything else. Um, now, if you guys didn't watch my summon video, and if you guys did watch my summon video, you guys are probably asking, yo, Kaijo, how much freaking tickets did you do? Two full rotations, and I maxed out his skill page and his skill page. His, his character, all right? If you want proof, the proof is in the pudding. Look at this. We go all the way up. We started off with Jack. And this is where things got a little dicey because I was about to stop summoning after I got Jack. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this because I'm going to get nothing but Shaft. Then I got William. Then I got Homeboy skill page. Then I got another William skill page. Then I got his then I got him. Then I got his skill page. Mars, I really didn't mind. I really wanted to max out my Mars anyway. So I, then I got his skill page. Then I got him. Then I got this skill page, which I don't mind because I I need one more dupe now to get it to, pl uh, to plus 20%. Then I got his skill page. I maxed out his skill page at that point. And the final dupe that I needed um, to max him out. And now he is sitting at 5 out of 5. 
So yeah, guys, this isn't the build that I was really looking for because, you know, again, my sub stats aren't rolled the way that I want it to be. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll keep it the way it is. And then what I have here is attack and magic attack LR. Then I have defense LR and then support. I have crit resistance. All right. Crit resistance. Some people will throw in HP. Whatever you want to do. I threw in crit resistance because I feel like that has... I feel like that has a better chance of doing more for you than just throwing in extra HP. I think crit resistance is the better gear to put. And you don't want to really enhance his speed because his speed is, his speed is lacking, man. You don't really need to do anything with his speed, okay? Um, now, for his, um, for his en enhancement level, for it to be level 5, we get an additional, okay? We get an additional defense. We get additional crit resistance. All right, we get additional on his CC. And last but not least, we get his second passive, which is upon gaining anti-magic, inflicts taunt on all enemies for one turn. And then his fifth one is at the start of the wave, grants all enemy status ailment immunity for one turn. So I feel like this is really freaking good um, because, you know, it, it's max duped. He gets these good passives as well, which really makes him much, much tankier, much, much better, all right? I mean, who doesn't like a really high CC on a character though, right? Um, I want to get his crit rate and crit damage closer to 90%. His crit resistance, I don't mind it being be below, right? I could be between 70 and 90. That would be perfect for me. I don't really care. Um, HP, again, it's very lackluster. So uh, it's not that much to really go off of. Um, I'm good with it being so low because with everything else, you know, the total defense and everything else that he puts on to himself to basically tank, very, very good unit, even with that very low HP, all right? The defense stat is 24K, attack stat is 22K. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't really need to work on his attack stat very much. Um, he is more of a defensive wall, so work on his defense, work on his crit rate, crit damage, crit resistance, anything that spills, I'm going to tank, I'm going to withstand attacks. That is what you should definitely work on and try yourself to, you know, uh, get very high on. Again, not the unit build I was very much looking for. I'm going to keep saying it, the enchantment stones really, really cucked me this time around because I didn't get the enchantment stones that I was needing to basically make him what he needs to be. Um, and unfortunately as well, I don't have any other gears from anyone else that I can basically throw on him that's actually good. All my other gears are lacking. You know why? Because I had nothing but magic attackers on my account. I didn't have Kiato. I didn't have Red Yami properly. I don't know. I, it's just a lot of units that I didn't really have that I could build their gears and prepare properly for Black Asta. Again, I said it on my Discord and I'm going to say it on the video. I was not ready for Black Asta. And no one was ready for Black Asta. Some of you guys probably prepared, but I'm guaranteeing that not many people were ready for Black Asta. I was not. I wasn't. And unfortunately, it shows. But we are almost 80k and... I'm fine with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. When I build my Asta the way that I need him to be built, then I'll do a separate video showing you guys the proper build that I have that I was wanting to show you guys. I'll do a second video of his build later on though, because as of right now, we'll just leave it as it is until I get my enchantment stones and then I can enchant his gears and get it to where I need to be. But as of right now, this is currently where my black asta is going to stay and yeah awesome um hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the pvp video which this was supposed to be but screw it i'll just do the pvp video next